is 814. You won't be the only one dipping your chip this Super Bowl Sunday. Americans will eat an estimated 20 million pounds of potato and tortilla chips on game day. But you need a dip that's a crowd pleaser. So here with us this morning is home economist for Red Gold Tomato Company, Linda Wallace. Thank you so much for well, being here. Well, thank you. How are you this morning? Doing well. Uh, much better now that I'm smelling and getting oh, to see this up close and All personal. these good things to dip, have for Super Bowl day. Dip is one of the most important things. You can have the tortillas and the pita chips, but when you have the dip, it's That's a crowd the most pleaser. important part, isn't it? And we like things that are easy so that they don't have to spend a lot of time. So the first one we're going to talk about is Mexican lime dip. And okay. it uses one of our products called Mexican Fiesta. We have several products that are flavored, and this one is Mexican flavored. So we're going to add a drained can of that to a cup of yogurt. So this recipe yogurt. is, okay. yeah, this recipe ah. is very figure friendly. Nice, you like it? Does that yes. mean I can eat all of the dip? That's right. Okay. And then we're going to add some cilantro to that. And then just to add a little bit of zing, we're going to add a little zest of, of lime to it. And if you don't have zest or can't do this, then you can just leave this part out. But it adds a really nice, interesting flavor. Okay. And then we also like to add a little bit of lime juice. And I'm a big believer that you should use lime juice that's fresh and not out of a bottle. Now what does the lime juice do for it? Does it keep it, it longer? It, it, it not necessarily keeps it longer. It gives it that little bit of a zing okay. taste that makes it a, a very good. And then we're going to add just a little bit, and this is to your flavor, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we just kind of stir that together. It's quite simple to do. And if you want to make this ahead, you could easily do that and keep it in the refrigerator until you were, you know, ready to have your party. So you can spend time with your guests and you don't have to be in the kitchen working. That's probably the most important thing, I think. At least when you're throwing a party like this, you want to be able to get so much done ahead of time That's so you exactly can actually right. enjoy your own party. You're putting so much work into it, right? That is exactly right. So we'll just put this in this pretty little bowl right here. Okay. Oh, and then you could so have it with your chips in something that everybody would enjoy. So that took less than two minutes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. and how many people does that feed? Oh, make? that would probably feed, oh, 12 people maybe, okay, depending upon how hungry you are. Well, yes, or, or it could just feed one, which I'm exactly. pretty hungry and haven't eaten breakfast yet. Okay. There you go. What else there do we go. have over here? Okay, that over good. here we have, it's, it's like, um, it's called a focaccia, mm -hmm. and this is focaccia bread that you just buy at the grocery store, and then we put one of our other flavored tomatoes, which is garlic and olive oil, okay. and we drained it, and then it has cheese and all the things you would have say on a subway sandwich yes. but it's your own and you just put it in the broiler and melt the cheese and then and little the, little mini so you can walk around and be social too exactly okay exactly what are these? And these are fiesta roll-ups and what we did here we just took a tortilla chip and some cream cheese another one of our products our uh, diced products and we also used a uh, little green pepper so we add a little color and you just spread it on the tortilla chip roll it up and slice it okay and this is a um, avocado really good. dip and it has mayonnaise and I use low fat mayonnaise so that it's more figure friendly again and then we have our diced tomatoes on top of that with a little bit of green and has uh, cheese in it as well. Very nice. So, so can you heat that one up? Yes. That, you I probably would, want to. You would probably want okay. to. But I've eaten it cold. And it's still <laughs> it's good. It's still good. Okay. Yeah, all these recipes are available on our website at www.redgold.com. Okay. So if they would like to get them, they can. Well, we have already put those oh, on our you? website for Very you good. at fox17online.com. So if you want to uh, get any more information about the recipes, you can go to the morning news page, scroll down to the segment information section, and you will see the link right there. Linda, thank you so much for being You're here. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Now we're going to have to try all this stuff our studio crew is That's salivating right. already. Very good. All right, we appreciate it. It is 8.18 right now. We're going to check in with Emily. She's talking about the new exhibit opening up at the Grand Rapids Art Museum.